who has been in a plane, whether it's your first time, your second time, your hundred time, some of us are platinum, some of us are, or maybe some of you are lifetime platinum. But one thing always happens before the plane departs. What is that? You have the, um, the cabin crew who always explain the safety features. Um, then you have those who normally sit, depending on the plane, uh, those who sit in the, in, in, in the row where there is emergency doors. But and then firstly they ask you, are you willing to sit here? Secondly, will you be willing to assist uh, people who will need help um, in the case of emergency? And then they will then explain your seat belt and uh, how, do you, how do you put it in, how do you facet it in, you know. Being drawn to that, we might take it for granted as, ah, I am always um, in the plane, I know these things, then others, they don't take heed of that. Then one of the pilots, I saw some, one of the videos that I, I check uh, about the safety features, why these things are done, and why you must fasten your seatbelt tight. You know, Runa, others, those who think they are clever, they don't even fasten their seatbelt, you know, in the plane or even in the car. But now then he, he demonstrates to show that um, should there be an emergency landing or something, um, the one who, whom his seatbelt is not even fastened tight, there is high possibility that you will slip under your 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 actual belt, and it will it can even end up into your neck, and 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 it can, and then it will pose more danger unto yourself. You know, in a similar way, we have we have seen that some of the most um, horrible um, road accident is when maybe somebody didn't have a seat belt. Unfortunately, maybe the planes which are going to be made in, in, in future, um, they don't have a provision of um, uh, airbag, but cars have airbag, you know, something happens. But why is that happening? Every time you must be reminded of the safety features, safety features. In a similar way, um, God reminds us that I am still your God who fights for your battle. I am still your God who will fulfill or who has promised you uh, promises regardless of the situation or the things that you are experiencing or facing. I am still God. I haven't changed. I have made a statement uh, last week that um, all of us here including myself, from growing up until now, we have experienced a certain measure of challenges, of situations which were difficult, that Nerissa Tsebe Khori, but by the grace of God, um, you came out of it. Maybe even some of you, I said it this morning to the commitment class, some of you, don't even know how you overcome some of the situation. Then some of us uh, were product of prayers, either prayers by your mother, either prayers by your grandmother, or by your grandparents, or people who generally pray for you. Therefore, let's never take for granted that as we are here, we are always in a battle. And when we are in a battle, we must always be, be prepared. We will show different ways that um, are placed before us on how to fight battles and the battles that we are going to experience in life. But quickly come with me as part of our scripture reading. I, I hope my 
my volume is okay, it sounds okay. Let's, let's go to Psalms 27 verses 14. It says, wait for the Lord's help. Be strong and brave. Those who know English, maybe they might say strong and brave is the same thing. Then it, it goes back again and says, and wait for the Lord's help. Wait for the Lord's help. There are battles that um, we are going to win and conquer and walk with God by waiting upon him. Sometimes God, um, um, God showed me or told me this thing that um, some of you, you need not to, it's not yet time to resign at work whilst you are pursuing your goal or you are pursuing um, that business opportunity. It's not yet time. Then there will be an opportune time that will be set for you that you, you can be able to resign. You know. Therefore, Kulunkulu will make you wait there to, to teach you how it is like to be patient. Not every time that you have to, um, when you are in a process where you feel that maybe into Enyenza, I'm going to say a Pumelela. Kulunkulu says, wait, Linda. At an opportune time when God speaks unto you, then he will guide you and say, now is the moment that you can live. Then the comfortability that you have been experiencing is a sugar. Some of us, we, we ought to live in the, in the comfort or move in the comfort zone for God to can be able to, to fight for us. But this is what God has, has told me in preparation preparing for this message that some of the battles that God is going to fight for us, some of the strategies, it is yourself. It is you who is, who is in the center line that Uzo Sebenzisa Wena as a character. Now I will define those things. You will be in a position to understand what does it mean that unkulunkulu usebenzisa mina ugulwa izimpi engmelengizilwe. Unkulunkulu aganayo i anger. Unkulunkulu aganayo i hatred. Therefore, some other battles that God is going to fight for you is forgiveness. Then unkulunkulu we are forgiven. Therefore, forgiveness must come from you. You are the one who has hardened your heart. We'll speak about it later. What does it mean to harden your heart? And God is, 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 is wanting to bless and increase you, but because your, your heart is in Unkulunkulu is waiting up until um, and let go of everything that is, that is ungodly. Oh Lord, Haggai 1 verse 13, can I read it in my version? Then Haggai gave the Lord's message to the people. I will be with you. That is my promise. That's a GWT version. That is my promise. My question is, how many promises are there in the Bible? It's not a tricky question. How many promises are there in, in the Bible? Some will say there's a promise for each and every day. Some will say there are so many we will not be able to, to count. But if God is saying, sending his prophet and say, go tell my people that I will be with them. And that is a promise. Gizo banabo, logo iso tembiso. Angege kshinje. Now, there are about 8,810 promises in the Bible depending, listen to the saints, depending on the Bible version that you are reading. Um, in the Old Testament alone, there's 7,706 promises. 
Whilst in the New Testament alone, there's 1,104 promises. Let's see whether you read your Bible. The Bible chapter which has, which God provides more promises in it. Which one is that, saints? If come on class, come on class. We just read it as part of our scripture reading. Deuteronomy 28. Just, just find time and go and read it. As, as, as much as it has a different contrast, but depending also on the version you are reading, there's about 133 promises in, Genesis, in, in Deuteronomy 28 alone. Note this. Our trust is never misplaced when we are trusting in God. Now that we are assured or guaranteed that Ustembi Sile is a Tembi, so, so many promises. Therefore, that's the first assurance of knowing that our battles are not ours. He's going to take them for himself. There's a song which is a popular song. I'm not sure how many knows it, a song by Yolanda Adams, which says, this battle is not yours, it's of the Lord. This battle is not yours, it's of the Lord. Now, Hezekiel 36, verses 37, if we may read it, Quickly, I'm going to do something different today. Kikupa Onali Biblia Sutu Ozulu, read for us Exodus 6 1 to 13. Whilst I am reading Exodus 36 verse 37, on a Bible lesson Zulu or Sutu or any vernacular language, read for me Exodus 6 verses 1. To 13. Now, Ezekiel 36, 37 reads like this. This is what the Lord God has to say. I am going to allow the house of Israel to ask anything. Let's pause there. I am going to ask you, your family, your house, the house of Israel, the house of the noble, the house of the Rode, put your surname there, the house of um, um, Gorsi, the house of Mloi, the house of Mlojo. I am going to ask, I, I am going to permit you to ask anything. I am going to permit you to ask anything. What is that you are asking of God? Then it goes further and say, Ask anything they want from me. Ask anything they want from me. Already we are getting in one of the assurance or one of the way that Uncle Uncle is saying, how am I going to fight for your battle? One of the ways that God is going to fight for your battle is you communicating with him. One of the ways that you will be able, Uncle Uncle, Aglolo is in Pizako, Unga Tuli, Zikon, Ezinizimu, Ezotin, Uti Utuli. But this one, when God calls you and says, what is that you want? Yini lo oitingayo, Utoka inkona. God is saying, what is that you are asking Ukupa in? Anything, ask me, Ukupa, anything that you want. That's what God is saying. I am going to, al then, then just ask me anything they want from me. They want from me. Then it goes further to say, including this, <laughs> Oh, Jesus, I am going to increase their population as a shepherd increases his flock. I am going to increase their population. In, in the context of our teaching, let's, 
Let's transform or change the word population. I am going to increase you in wisdom. I am going to increase your finances. I am going to increase you in your career. I am going to increase you in all areas of the works of your hands. I am going to increase you. That is what God is saying. I am going to increase you. But to what extent are you trusting God that you may be able to say, God, this, this battle is not about mine. I am trusting you for this particular business, this deal. There's my proposal, oh God. Therefore, you will be able to guide me and show me, Lord, how things are going to happen. That in later way, Lord, I pray for this CV. I pray for this business plan. I, I, I pray for everything, God. That I am presenting unto you the rest of what Lord, I am bringing unto you a list of his equalities army. Yes, I know that in the South African context, they have created a national credit um, council or bureau where people will advise you how to manage your credit, your finances, and how to reduce equality. But God, I'm going to do things differently. I'm going to write everything. Lord, I am owing a bond for 1.78 million, or I'm owing a bond for 4 million. Therefore, my, my prayer is that uh, you. You, 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 you give me the speed to accelerate in finishing my bond. Cancel it, O oh God. My prayer, O oh God, is that my children for the next five years, let them be able to find in um, scholarship so that God, the battle of not worrying about paying school fees, can my children receive who? scholarships, bursaries, Present those financial needs to God and say, Go see, Nazazami equal it. I don't want to move out of my message, but I think it will be proper that I, I run quickly through to this uh, scripture whilst also Fundela who. Exodus Kimang Otlo Rebalela, Exodus 6, 1 to 13. Stolos Fundela Sisbonye. Exodus 6, verses 1. Nifundange Virginia Sizulu, Ifundega Ganji. U Jehovah Wati Gumose. Manje Usuza Gubona Loko and Yagu Gwenza Gufaro. Goguba, Ngenga Sandra Esit Unileo, Uyaguba Yega Uguba Bahambe. Genga ye Sandra is in a mantle, we are good Russia is when he lag. Uncle Uncle Wakuluma Gumos, what he go ye. Gingu Jehovah, Gabo Nagalago Abraham, Nago Isaka, Nago Jacope, Jengo Som Mandla, Gepaneka Malami Logo to Ujehova, Ganging Gaziwa, Gobo. Footing a Mesa is a Vumeluano Sami Nabo, Uguobaneka Izwe, La Sekanan. Izwe logu kokobala guabo. Lapo babe kokobala kon. Yebo footing is wile ugububula gobantuana bawa Israel. Abenzi we is ikrila. Gabaseki pit. Ngiagu kumbula isivumelo no sami. Nga loko yi shokubantuana bawa Israel uguti. Gingu Jehovah. Giza gun kipa emetuale ni yabaseki pit. Gigu kulule ebu kuleni bain. Gine sange, njengalo eye luliwe. Nangezi kulelo ezin kul. Giagu ni tata nebe yisizwe sami. Me nangibe ngunkulunkuluen. Nyo gwazo ugu tingingu jehova ngunkulunkuluen. Oni kipa emetuale ni yabaseki pit. Giagu guningenisa ezweni eng. Enga paga misa isanja sami ngalo uguli nika u Abraham no Isaka no Jacob. Ngi agu nipa lona libe yifa. Ngi ngu Jehovah. Umosu wakulu mage ganja logubo abandwana bagwa Israel. Kepa abamla lelanga umosu ngenga yentizio engane ne misebenzi esindai. U Jehovah wakulu magu umosu wati. Ngena ukulu megufaro inko sase kipite. Ukuba ivu mela bantuana bagwa Israel. Ukupuma ezwe nilagi. 
umosu wakuluma ebu sone boga Jehova wati. Bega abantuwa nabago wa Israel, abangila lelanga. Ufaro angangila lelanga. Angangila lelaka njani. Ginezi ndebezo mlomo ezi nga so nguanga. Ezi nga so nguanga. Uche hova wakulu magumosu na gu aron. Uguba, abayale abantu anabago wa Israel. No faro ingosia sekipit. Ugu kipa abantu anabago wa Israel ezu nila sekipit. Amen. Amen, saints. In ways in which God is going to fight for you. Already we have, we have, we have, we have read from there, but I might not touch all of those points. But we, we, we are assured in all situations that unkulunkulu that we find ourselves in, regardless whether uh, we have asked God, listen to this, regardless whether we have asked God to intervene, the corner is zimpi unkulunkulu, by the virtue of being the child of God, unkulunkulu will automatically intervene into those battles. By the virtue of you trusting in him, by the virtue of your faithfulness, God is going to intervene into, into your battles. Because it's he, God takes pride in verses 7 and think and, and say, I will make you my people. Therefore, if you are my people, therefore I am obligated automatically to ensure that your safety in me is guaranteed. Note this. God has, has, has a battle, has has a battle plan. Nkulunkulu sega nayo i battle plan already for you. Areas that we are going to touch on hope through this series will be able to try and, and squeeze and actually cover them. That God is going to fight our battles when we are able, that's, that's where we'll try and stay today. When we are able to practice obedience in God. When we put our trust in God. When we put our faith in God. When, when we are able to exercise our praise and worship. Without fear, without worry. As in um, they will just require us to kumele situle. Some, some battles, they will just require us just to be quiet and don't say anything. Oh, yes, Lord. People, Baba Nzwanga, ubutule nje. No, ngutula ganja anemfundisi mina, because if ngutula, they are going to undermine me. They will think that I am scared of them. Mele kubonaga lugubuti mina ngubani. Uzo, uzo, people who are saved, banaba, barata jes, or no, naki pulusizwe. But when they are faced with situation and say, mang na kitule, batotziba horna ki mwana man. I will tell them, I will show them. Ubuza loane, nisindi si wenti, nzaptata mi bege la tele. Mpa kitla wanza hornaki man. May we come to a place where we don't have to prove points to anyone. But we just keep quiet and say, it's okay. Some battles are won by you just retreating, just being, being, being silent and just being quiet. Now, yeah, I think we will find us. I think by about by, by somewhere in Second Kings 19. Other battles, we are going to win them by practicing patience. But the main thing that will keep us being able to always walk in victory with God is by being strong. It's by being strong. I mean, we, we, we read in some, in some, in some, some 33. Right there is that we ought to be wait on, on the Lord. Yeah, Psalms uh, 27 verses 
14 says, wait for the Lord's help, Linda. Linda, usizo olubuya gungulungulu. If you are not an expert into that thing, wait for a person who's an expert. Tina esesebenza yo ebema kampani ni when you when your computer gives you a problem, you don't start to fiddle with your computer. You log in a call with the IT section, and the IT section will tell you your reference number is so and so, then we will come and fix in your problem. Then they come and then fix your problem. Sometimes you find that maybe it might have been a problem that you were going to be able to fix. Maybe you could look switch on. But there's problem which are so technical and say, no, this one requires us to work on it. You are unable to print. To then let them redo the settings and put in those numbers. And they'll come and take my laptop and put in numbers and numbers. Then from there, my laptop is able to print as I walk. Wait for somebody who's trained into that, who is stronger in that, to can be able to help you. Now, it goes further, and see, actually, it be strong and brave. Uba strong, it means unamanda, une, une, une capability that I can lift this pulpit alone without any assistance. But being brave um, is a sign of saying that I am, I am fearless. David displayed the sign of both being strong and brave because he walked in as a young boy in the battlefield and asked and say, who is this useless person, uncircumcised Philistine or Delilah? Now, you ought to acknowledge uh, 1, Samuel, um, 1 Samuel 14 verses 47. It, it says, um, this battle is not mine, it's of the Lord. Now, the corner is in that uh, I am not coming in alone. I am coming through the grace of God, you know. Therefore, even if you know, he knows that he might have the capability, but agas paga misi and say, I'm not shy, I'm fine, I'm not destroyer, and giving basag recognize. We need to, to die from that mentality of showing ourselves of what I have a certain capability, nina destroyer. Now, going back to the example of an IT, after you have made a call, they fix in your computer, everything is done. Then you, your problem has been solved and the call is closed. Now, Ezekiel 36, 37, depending on which version you are reading on, some version says, once again, some say once more, other version says, again and again, I will answer their prayers. Now, it does not mean when the same problem occurs again, you cannot log the same call. And then they come and say, they will always say, hey, not when we try, it's the same problem again. Therefore, what does that tell us? The corner is into that we must continuously bring them before God. Bring them before God. What are those things? Maybe we have certain areas of weakness. Those things you bring them before God. This thing is on social media. social media. But you are living a life of immorality by sleeping around. I'm going to use a decent word, but if you see it on social media, he's using a word that is not decent. He said, so why are you bothered? Because I'm using my private part to sleep with those women. On fundis, who's leading a church? And the Baba Zalwane, they come in and stand, uh, hashtag, stay away from our pastor. Hashtag, we love you, men of God. Don't love me when I do nonsense, when I, I, I degrade the name of the Lord. And I say it with love. Even if we are human, but when somebody stand with pride and say that, if I can do something of that nature and say, so, take your bags and go. Because it means, say, how will you look this? Who cares about chips? But what I'm saying is that 
there's areas of morality that we need to stand on our ground. But it does not mean the corner, a corner, I'm a puta, that I expected. Hear me well. When I'm saying, you see, I have my areas that need to be strengthened, I must not justify when there is into as wrong. If I snap, you know, uh, thanks, Mashudu, you are here. I'm, it's okay. I mean, we're starting a service. There's, there's no singer, you, you know. But because already, fortunate is that um, I didn't snap, I, didn't, I was not angry, but uh, because God showed me yesterday. If you can't believe me, I sent Mambong a message to say, in the morning, I want to see all the intercessors because God showed me everything that happened. That's why I was not surprised. I was not surprised. Then uh, I met the in intercessors to tell them about certain things that God has laid into me. Send a message so to say, please, in the morning, before service, I need to, to see the intercessors. God will be able to, to show you things as, as a man of God so that you don't come in public and then react in an embarrassing way. By being obedient in prayer. If I didn't wake up and start to pray, I think I've sent that message for four. But go four o'clock when I send that message in the morning. I woke up and prayed. God woke me up and prayed. And then as I was praying, then he said, then uh, in the morning you must pray with pray for all because of time we didn't do that. Say so pray for all the intercessors. Okay. Now I was differentiating being strong and brave. Um, that being being strong is those who bonisa the physical feature but being brave you might be tiny but you can do things that the stronger person might not be able to do that is why it puts them together be strong and brave be strong and brave be strong and brave unga sosi and it no mang strong pelela lap Whilst I was driving to this point about this other pastor, meaning Umangabe, we say, pray, pray for us, pray for Mfundis to be strengthened. You know, Angege Uti, um, I can justify Mfundis in I think the, there was another clip, you saw it go Solomon. Don't pretend as if I'm Landel. So Solomon in Amlande, because the fun was with Batin Um, this will be this fine. Aba fun is a two by Alwa, two pastors. Both of them are married. They're fighting for a girlfriend in the mall. Now, now already that shows the level that, um, that, that battle now, um, it's, it's not just a physical battle, but it's, 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 it's now a, a moral battle. I'm a moral sewa file. I was saying, 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 I was he will wake you up and show you as a man of God, as a woman of God, as a prayer warrior, so that you might be, when those things happen, you remain strong, you remain steadfast, you are not worried, you are able to progress and say, okay, next, you take this one, next devil, another one, attack devil, another one, you move on. Who time. Now, um, praying, uh, okay, being strong, the other point is, the other way that God is going to fight for your battle, I hope we'll find time and deal with it, is through giving. The other, giving is, giving is unigela. Not only when you speak about giving, we're not only um, speaking about 
what uh, Lumfundis told me on, on Thursday. He gave him a lift, he came then, he said, um, this, uh, this by the pastor, Sengai Fagi, we video yet, it's fine. Those are extra, um, extra um, subtitles. Now he's, 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 he said, this pastor he was serving under, use Psalms 31, Abanye Bayuza, which I read in the morning, Bayuza, Amos chapter 3. Amos chapter 3 says, God reveals his secret to his prophets. And then they say, everything that you need into your life, mina yimin lela yongena hunkulunkulu via me. But tata ipaipili and change it and use to deceive people. Le oipet. No, the Bible says, read it, Amos chapter 3 says, I am the way. It is through me that you will be able to access God because I am your papa, I am your comfort, whatever name they use. May we be liberated to follow men, but let us be able uh, to be amplified in following God. As I am standing here, who in South Africa, I hope this will make sense, we are using a system of both credit and debits. In the US, a lot they use a system of debits, um, yeah, they are credit. In, in Africa, a lot they use a system of debit. You can only use what you have. Now, a system of credit says you can be able to use the money that you do not have to buy a house. You say, yes, this is my house. I, I don't have five million in my hand now, but I can buy a house and pay it over time. That is credit. You know, that is how God works into our life. Every time whether, whether we need him, as long as we come faithfully unto him, he becomes our creditor. Who? He is available for all situations that you know, we are unable to fight in it. I am not strong in it because that's why there's a Bible. That's why we have to go to um, Galatians uh, is it 22 where it speaks about the fruits of the Spirit. And God says, I am giving you my credit. My, credit, my word is my credit. At the same time, my word is my debit. It is through my word that you will be, I will fight for you. I speak about the fruits of the Spirit. Be fruitful. The first thing it says, love. Praying for others. Job 42. What did Job do? Job prayed for the people who were ridiculing him. And they got saved and they got well after they were well and, 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 and God forgave them. God also restored everything that Job has lost. Prayer. Uh, prayer as we pray. We know that God answers by our prayers. The other point is that when we repent through our sin, mangenze iputa, mangasali eputeni, and try to justify iputalan. But when I come into God, I know what I have made a mistake. I didn't treat my wife well. I didn't treat my husband well. I didn't treat my kids well. Or I didn't even treat uh, the cashier well at the shop. I should go back and say, sis, sorry for, for shouting at you. Yes, I'm seven zini by straight. Don't stay wrong and say no. Value by by sevens are the acacias. You need to have that. Friday we spoke about compassion. You need to have that compassion. The word of God. Okay, we sp we spoke about it in these scriptures. The other way that God is going to fight for your petals. That's when we then come there. Then we close. Is the use of your gifts. Now, obedience, the Bible tells us that obedience is better than sacrifice. What does it mean? No more, you can come and say, no, I'm um, um, I saw a building, I will buy it for the church. But if you are a disobedient person, no matter how much money you can bring to the church, no matter how much resources you can bring in and, and bring in money, Uash Boshov, 
uti statement as as she it's not me there comes this guy to him a wealthy businessman they were uh, still in the early stages of building their church you know yam said no 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 i will um i want us i'm going to build the new church as everything I will find provided you, sp- you speak in africans o khuluma le ka malele ma ubona isilwane sithize bese uyazikhaba you know angeke ngilisho wamtshela kanjalo as ashbosho kuthi hamba nemali yakho sometimes god will fight for the battles because the battles of money so that so that you don't succumb to the condition people who are bringing because they have money at church go baqoshe uNkulunkulu will give you a courage who water go see I'm umqoshile who ubani uzo enza show ukuthi we are meeting our monthly obligation but is trusting in the lord then he said we started to build a 10 million church we only had 52 million we, we only had 52000 at that time the rest is says history they've built many campuses is being faithful into the lord ungahlaleli lord no i have money uh, I, I, i can build a church on condition on condition on condition may we be the people that unkulunkulu makaba makabusisa don't bring in condition to what uh, to to the expressing of the weight of the lord who the characters of god's promise exodus 14 14 the lord will fight for you and you don't have to do a thing uma ngabe lethu unkulunkulu uzokulwela you don't have to do anything I'm not sure whether he's saying you are chilling or relaxing or shall for uhleli but it says the Lord will fight for your battle you do not have to do anything anything little you don't have to do anything because remember Ella on God said I'm I'm going to answer your prayers about anything that you are asking me therefore mighty anything you don't have to do anything if ulele you are doing nothing If you selele you are doing nothing the corner is in that we fight by just bringing unto God and God said I'm going to bring you rest ngizokwenza ukuthi ube kho ube sesikhathini sokuthi uphumule ngizokwenza ukuthi ube sesikhathini where your senses everything is in control by yourself ngizokubeka into the position where you are controlling everything by just walking away by just laughing into the situation by just thanking god by just appreciating who god is into your life who god always was part of God fighting us is these promises must shine and then we then close God is always with me then then I had to say to to do not fear God is always in control do not doubt God is always good do not despair God is always watching do not falter God is always victorious I will not fail that that is what it means I will not fail Psalm 52 verses 22 it says pile your troubles on God's shoulders he will carry your load he will help you out he will never let good people topple you into into rain to pile ugcwalisela ukufaka thela gcwala uthi uNkulunkulu let us on ke izinkinga zakho kimi pile them up to me You know when you pile mag, 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 those of us who, who, who goes to weddings and all the things you know bona abantu bathatha makheke bawagcwalisa kufaka esikhwameni ifaka they pile them with the kube ngaka you pile them uthi uNkulunkulu pile them pile gcwalisa faka pile is to stack the other word for pile is to put by force to its capacity pile faka uze isuitcase yakho uze uhlale phezulu kwayo uyiqindezela uyifasa because you want to make sure uthi yonke imithwalo yakho iyangena it says pile everything unto me 
Whilst you are not piling your problems or challenges unto God, who are you piling them unto you? Because if you pile them unto you, you are not meant to contain those things. That is why we get stressed. That is why we get depressed. That is why we get disillusioned. That is why we become hopeless. That is why we become angry. We are not angry because of the situations that we find ourselves in. But we are angry because we can no longer contain everything that you have been piling on yourself. And panulula yourself today. Who, oh, if there's any suit like that? Pram post. If my son is correct, and panulula yourself unto God. Take them out unto God. Free yourself. It's okay. I do not have money for transport, for petrol, but oh God, I am going to church. I am trusting you. You're going to deliver my children. You're going to deliver my husband. You're going to deliver me in everything that I'm trusting you. Who? The battle is not yours. If there's any scripture that you must also take for yourself take this one pile them unto god bag ridicule take that ridicule and throw them and throw it to god they undermine you take it and throw it to god they gossip you take it and bring it to god you'll be emptied the only thing that you have who is just this the fruit of the spirit love patience and all of those things who oh, Jesus? Who oh, and and parulula yourself? It's fine. Force, climb over, and all of that. I'm gonna close here as we close. Exodus 15 verses 3. The Lord is a man of war. How do God fight battles? The Lord, the Lord is a man of. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is His name. Second Chronicles 2015 says, he said, listen carefully, all you people of Judah and your inhabitants of Jerusalem and King Jehoshaphat, the Lord says this to you, be not afraid or dismayed. This is a great multitude for the battle, for the battle, for the battle is not yours, but of God, the battle is not yours, but of God. Axiona impiaco, go pagunga and kulunkulu, but unkulunkulu here give Jehoshaphat a strategy of how to conquer this battle. You will read it at home further, but in, in verses 27, um, maybe let's go to 26. They, they went on to fight into a battle through a worship. Whew. As verses 22 says, as they began to sing and praise God, the Lord assembles for the people of Ammon and Moab and Edom who had come to attack Judah. Remember, Judah means what? Judah means praise. Judah means praise. Ha. Huh. Now, Uncle Uncle, that's why Guba Lulegi Luguti, where Taika Malumtana Kongoban. What do you name your child, Judah? And they were, they were defeated. Now, 23, the Ammonites and the Moabites attack the, the Ammonites, destroying them completely after they had killed the Edomites. They killed each other. I explain. When the men of Judah came to the place, they could see the desert. They looked at the enemy, large army, but they only saw dead bodies lying on the ground. No one had escaped. Verses 25. Then Jehoshaphat and his army came to take their valuables and found many supplies much clothing, much valuable things, there was more than they could carry away. They, there was so much it 
took three days, three days to gather it all. 26. On the fourth day, Jehoshaphat and his army met in the valley of Beraka and praised the Lord. That is why that place has been called the valley of Beraka even this day. Now, the difference between a warrior and a soldier. Now, the Bible says, Exodus um, 15.3, the Lord is a man of war. Exodus, yeah, the Lord, the, the, yeah, the, the Lord is, the Lord is a warrior. The other version said the Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Now, a soldier is a person who fights because he or she is armed through a weapon and is, is dressed according to the battlefield. That is why David was referred to as a warrior because he didn't use the battle instrument which were given by Saul, which was the sword and the armor. A soldier, when he fights, he only fights in a way that he can protect himself. That is a soldier. The Bible does not refer to God as a soldier because God does not fight to protect himself. He refers him to a warrior. A warrior is somebody, if you, when you attack, he will come straight unto you. A warrior will be able to carry Lenkemba, Aibambe, Noma Asigega, and turn back in Kemba. That is the difference. A soldier is skilled in in fighting and is fighting through the strategy what he planned to ihambaganje ungaphumbuyo kodwa a warrior is fighting to protect the territory as an instruction is given to say see attack now go and defend umehluko ulapho now as they as they were praising junior the lord says angifuni ama soldier mawahlale phansi as the church stands as we live what does what does the lord says i'm going to raise you to be worshipers uthi uNkulunkulu therefore now you are going to take the steps of worship they they sing they march in the worship form come on junior they march Come on, Junior. They march in the worship form. May God, Ube Unkulukulu, even now, who is going to enable you that the situation that you are facing, Empuleniako, your worship, your worship, your worship, your praise, Magube Yo, Ezogletela Ungoba, no Kumelela. Not only remember, for Amalang, I won, two. Three, they were collecting the spoils. May God do your worship. May you collect the spoils each and every day. One day, two day, three day. Let's close by saying the fourth day as God fights for your battle, never stop giving praise and giving thanks unto the Lord. Because he says to Jehoshaphat, I am changing the strategy so gulwa. I am changing the strategy of the battlefield. We'll get to Gideon next time. The strategy that Jehoshaphat had, come Mashudu, is the strategy of saying, I will have Amma Ami's army, uh, Commander A, Commander B, Nizohamba, Nizo. I, I, I take her this way. But God said, I do not need that. I just need your voice to can be able to fight for your battle. I just need you to speak to you. I just need you.